this tiny box can do it all. Play games, emulate retro classics, and stream your entire media library all in one device. Today we're turning this Intel Nook Mini PC into what I call the Badger Box. We'll set up Kodi with Jellyfin for streaming, Retrobat with RGSX for retro gaming, and stream big picture mode with custom theme for that console look. Let's build it, test it, and see if this small system can re really replace your smart TV box and your console. This build is powered by the Intel Nook 8 with an Intel Core i5-8259U processor, Iverse Plus 655 graphics, 32 gigs of RAM, a 240 gigs NVMe SSD for Windows, and a 2TB SSD for storage. It's compact, quiet, and draws around 30 watts, perfect for a console style setup. Let's start with the media side. First, download Kodi from Kodi TV and install it. Then, open the add on browser and search for Jellyfin. Install the official plugin. I'll leave everything in a pinned comment. Once you log in your Jellyfin server, your entire movie and TV collection shows up in a clean interface that works perfectly with a wireless remote. I'm using a simple USB dongle remote so I can navigate from the couch, just like a Fire TV or Apple TV. And because this runs on Windows, everything feels faster and smoother. Next is time for retro gaming. Just download Retrobat, unzip it and run retrobat.exe. This is gonna take a few minutes for the installation to complete. Just click everything through it. Just agree with everything. And to make it even better, I'm adding RGSX. Just download the zip file and you will have to extract both ports and windows. You will have to extract these into the Windows ROMs folder for everything to work. RGSX gives you a beautiful interface, system logos and pre-organized folders for all your ROMs. You can play PS1, PS2, GameCube, Switch, you name it. And because everything's already configured inside Retrobat, there's no need to tweak emulators one by one. And if you're enjoying this so far, don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing. It does help a lot. Finally, let's give the Badger Box a real console interface. Simply install Steam, add Kodi and Retrobat as non-Steam games, so they appear directly into your library, and enable Start in Big Picture mode. Now, when you turn on the system, it boots straight into a controller-friendly UI. I also installed CSS Loader and grab a theme to give Big Picture that clean next-gen look. And this ties everything together, games, retro, and media, all from one dashboard. Let's see it in action. When the Badger Box powers on, Windows loads Steam automatically and Big Picture mode takes over. I can use my EasySMX controller to navigate games or my wireless remote to jump straight into Kodi for movies. It's simple, responsive and feels like a dedicated console. Time to put it to some gameplay test. First up, Fortnite runs great at medium settings. Next, we have Crash Bandicoot on PS1. Okay. 
The Simpsons Hit and Run on PS2, super playable. And finally, Hollow Knight from Steam. And that's the Badger Box, Windows 11 running Kodi, Retrobat and Steam Big Picture. It's easy to set up, fun to use and powerful enough to handle everything from movies to modern games. Now I got my Lenovo M910Q Tiny sitting next to me, 16 gigs of RAM, integrated graphics and I'm thinking it's time to retire it. What should we turn it into next? a handheld hub, a home server, something completely new? Let me know down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.